वेलकम बैक है सो थ्री डेज अगो एम डी पब्लिश द सोर्स कोड ऑफ द ओपन सोर्स अब स्केलिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एफ एस आर थ्री नाउ यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू सी मो गेम टाइटल्स विद ऑफिशियल एफ एस आर थ्री सपोर्ट द अब स्केलिंग कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एफ एस आर थ्री डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी फैंसी हार्डवेयर टू रन बट सम ऑफ इट्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स डू रिक्वायर स्पेसिफिक हार्डवेयर टू वर्क प्रॉपरली लाइक फ्रेम जनरेशन इट्स ड्रिवन बाय ए एम डी फ्लूट मोशन फ्रेम्स ए के ए एफ एम एफ ए एम डी हैज इवन प्रोवाइडेड अ रिकमेंडेड लिस्ट ऑफ हार्डवेयर फॉर यूजिंग फ्रेम जनरेशन For the uninitiated, FSR3 upscaler upscales the image from a lower resolution to a higher resolution. The upscaled image looks almost identical to the original image, depending on how good the algorithm is, but consumes less GPU resources, thereby helping in improving the performance. Many game titles already support FSR version one and two. We have already seen them in action. I am not a fan of version one. Observed a lot of texture shimmering and ghosting around the character models. Version two was a big upgrade over version one in terms of image quality. Less ghosting, similar to Nvidia's DLSS, FSR supports different presets like quality, balance, performance, and ultra performance. These presets dictate the base resolution from which the image gets upscaled to the output resolution. For example, let's say a game is running at full HD resolution. If we use the quality preset of FSR, 720p resolution will be used as the base resolution from which the image will get upscaled to full HD resolution. Now, DLSS is a proprietary technology, works only on RTX series GPUs. There is no such requirement when it comes to running FSR three. Even if you have a very old GPU like the one from GTX 10 series, this technology will still work on it. Two days ago, FSR three was officially added to Like a Dragon, the man who erased his name. In this video, I'll be trying out this game on my Steam Deck running on Windows 11. I own the PC Game Pass version of the game. I have installed the November-based Windows APU driver on my Steam Deck. Now, Steam Deck has an RDNA 2-based GPU, so it is possible that frame generation works on it. I have actually tested for spoken and models of AVM with frame generation enabled on Steam Deck. Was not impressed by its implementation. I did observe an increase in FPS count in the models, but the real-time gameplay was not appearing to be smooth at all. The added interpolated frames were very stuttery. Now AMD recommends using frame generation in games that are running at at least or higher than 60 FPS. Otherwise, input delay and graphical artifacts will become noticeable. The objective of frame generation is to max out high refresh rate displays. These are early days for FSR3. Its implementation might not be perfect in some games. Even FSR2 went through different revisions to fix some issues. Now with the game's latest update, FSR3 has been added to it. It also supports English voice language. I have installed the game on an SSD SK Hynix BC711. Game size is around 87 GB. In the background, RTSS and Steam Deck 2s are running. Start the game. Game settings 800p resolution using the high preset. Advanced setting. This is the high preset. Render scale set to 100%. AMD FSR version one, version two, and there is the option for version three. First, I'll run the game without using any FSR. Okay, so here we are getting around 37 FPS. You can see we are hitting the GPU bottleneck. Perfect scenario for testing FSR upscaler. Before that, I'll be using its anti-aliasing component. Enable FSR three and select native A. This will not use its upscaler component. Yeah, the image quality has improved. Let's check in as around the character models. FPS is roughly the same, 37. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Now I'll disable AA. Now I'll enable FSR two. And use its quality preset. All right, FPS increased up to 57, and I can observe some texture flickering in the background. And just try to observe the railing of the building here. Textures are flickering, and your use hair looks a bit fuzzy. I'll switch to FSR three using its quality preset. Okay, so we are still getting 57 FPS, and texture flickering is also present in the background, almost as if FSR three is not working in this game. I did not observe any improvement with FSR three over FSR two. Image quality looks exactly the same. Let me just enable frame generation. On. Okay, so the game just crashed. I'll restart it. Game restarted. As expected, frame generation is not working. 
I can observe the flickering in the background now this issue may be limited to Steam Deck only FSR 3 is definitely working because without it FPS is around 37 but the problem is it looks exactly the same as FSR 2 I will quickly demonstrate the newly added English voices in this game Cutscene is playing Come back then. Quickly clear the area. Amazing melee combat and Yakuza games. My bad, like a dragon. This game looks and runs amazing on Steam Deck, even on Windows 11. So, guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.